Hello there and welcome back to part 12 of Ryukyu East and uh, hopefully this time we will be able to uh, get our military westernization done. We are currently cr training some troops. Uh, Sassos was nice and uh, told me what uh, my rebel problems a couple of episodes back was and that it's probably, uh, as I said, uh, due to these slides here. Slides here so uh, we'll have to uh, rectify that soon enough but for now it's not really an issue. We have troops to uh, pretty much deal with uh, it everywhere and uh, we'll pounce down some more troops here and there to uh, to make sure that we can actually deal with these problems as they arise and uh, as I said I wanted to create some uh, bigger troops about 100k more and we'll probably place uh, 60 of them in uh, Europe itself, Europe proper and start conquering our way north from Africa here uh, probably south to have a colonization war with uh, England will probably be uh, be our first priority colonialism this one and uh, probably also religious liberation if uh, we can't uh, take them with colonialism uh, other than that we should probably focus on getting uh, the colonies up here which are still colonies if there are any like this one and probably this one nope not any of them into uh, actual proper colonies so we can actually uh, actually make sure that we can protect them and once we actually have a nice on military we'll probably create uh, a secondary fleet so without any further ado we'll just get uh, we'll just get going two new cores DMT and Porto Seguro so that's quite nice also we have uh, a new colony that has become self subsistent so uh, that's also nice as you can see we have some ships here and there which are just standing there so we'll actually go ahead and uh, park them uh, I believe it's in an uh, older version, you could just uh, park a ship and it will actually uh, solve any problems you had, but I'll go ahead and uh, set up a system with uh, my ships down here now, so uh, yeah, I'll just get right to it. Another colony has become self-sustaining along with uh, Lantec 12, we uh, are currently catching up with, uh, with our European neighbors and as you can see it's going quite fast. Just a couple of months now between uh, every uh, every upgrade, same with naval trade production government. I think is uh, as you can see, come a little bit longer along the way, but it's still only 20 months away from an upgrade with uh, with our current Im income, as you can see here. So yeah, we're not doing too shabby right now. We are uh, making money. We are upgrading the colonies. We are basically just preparing to uh, start a long long war step. Will. Uh, that will currently take up a lot of time. The biggest problems here is probably Castile, England, Bohemia, and uh, probably Austria. As you can see, they start here and snake all the way down to the Mamluks and Persia. And other than that, Ming doesn't really seem to be that much of an issue once we once we actually get to them. We should probably, however, uh, already start on this side. But seeing as we have a uh, very CBs on uh, this one. This side will uh, will start here and work our way over. And I just noticed that these guys are in the wrong province. Same for these guys, I think. There we go. Problem solved. And uh, well, uh, as I said, we'll be in a lot of wars, but uh, we should be able to uh, to sort it out without too many issues. Upgrading Lantac and with it we get the Colvin and Pedreros. So uh, that's quite nice. Still, we don't have uh, the best military. So uh, we won't really have any uh, any real use of that in uh, in a while. So that's kind of a pity, but still, uh, we're making progress, and that's what more or less counts right now. So uh, I'm not I'm not being hit tired. Looks at that one month, uh, another jump in land tech. So once we actually uh, once we actually get to uh, to westernize, we'll uh, we'll be pretty well set for. Uh, for challenges that awaits us, I think. Also, you might have noticed that I've lost 2,000 ducats in uh, the blink of an eye, and that is because I have uh, started the building of a new 40, 40 ship carrick fleet that will uh, basically have uh, be used for the purpose of uh, for the purpose of uh, fighting the English and uh, well, whatever fleets we may might face, and hopefully they'll worthy of the uh, of the mission more or less we'll go ahead park them there allow them to uh, to recuperate as you can see I have a big fleet here too but that's basically just a uh, as you can see a transport fleet 
so uh, that one doesn't really matter. Seeing as I'm going with 16, 16k units now, I should probably go ahead and also build two more cogs. There we go, and hopefully this will uh, this will long term allow us to become uh, the leading nation in uh, in everything. Everything just happened at once. Trade station Mali has apparently popped back up, it seems, and also we got some more free cash, which is always nice. Uh, let's see here, Mali, yeah, Mali popped up, and we can declare tribal conquest. Uh, it could actually be a nice way to. Uh, right, how long is it until we can do a slider move? We can probably probably not have anything to worry about. Uh, 1571 actually. I thought it was 66. Well, too bad. My fault. Uh, we'll go ahead then and declare our tribal conquest on Mali. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get a border with Ben in here. Uh, yeah, they're also over here. But still, it will give me a little bit more to... Uh, more of base to attack from in uh, Africa. Naval technology along with uh, production advance. Uh, think about it, I should probably have commissioned the Carax after... Uh, after I uh, actually... Uh, Got the levels needed, but uh, I did it before. Land tech 15 also with uh, huge amounts of, uh, of progress. Plus, as you can see, also provinces becoming uh, colonies becoming provinces is also taking up a lot of. Uh, yeah, I still forget that we have a crappy military, so we'll go ahead and assist them. Spirito Santo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how our core situation is, but as you can see. Uh, it's going quite well. We have almost well, at least Corelands of America has become coarse. These well, guys will uh, slowly but surely become coarse as well, along with uh, the inner lands over here. And basically, there aren't really that much we can't do right now, can I? Nope. We're still too far away, unfortunately. But as you can see, we are uh, working with Mali, trying to take them down. Should probably bump in these 10 K men as well, but. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Lantech 16 has been reached, and with it, we uh, get some more morale. We get the reformed Asian step cavalry, and we're basically just doing great, I guess. So yeah. Also, the war with Mali is going fine. I can actually seize uh, the provinces for uh, just a little bit of. Uh, it doesn't really cost me that much. It cost me a little bit. The reason why I actually had to unite my forces here is uh, because they were almost overrun, but a little bit of war attrition has never hurt anyone, so it should be alright. I have to apologize, I screwed up the recording uh, <laughs> again, but I just tapped out so I didn't really, really lose anything. I can actually declare war on these guys now, no, on these guys for a tribal conquest. Uh, we'll probably do that soon enough, I'll just want to deal with uh, Mali's troops here, uh, eradicate them. As you can see, I've also taken these three provinces for uh, one infamy each, which is quite nice. Uh, rebels are starting to uh, pop up again, but still, it shouldn't really be an issue, I think. So, yeah, we'll probably split this army up pretty soon to uh, to counter it. Yeah, 141 days. That's got to be a low, a new low, so to speak. Yeah, I don't want to build Force 2, I want to build Force 1. Thank you, there we go. Uh, but as you can see, we'll win the war with uh, Mali here, we'll probably just annex them. Uh, or we'll probably just take their pr the promise here and allow these guys to uh, to take the rest. We actually just got the tribal conquest on Benin here, we'll actually go ahead and, uh, and agree to that. There we go. We'll declare war simply because I have hopes that these guys will actually join in when... Uh, well, they didn't, which is kind of bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go for this one, it's just over the year, and it's easier than uh, to lose a point of stability. Let's go ahead and split up our armies a little bit, place 5k there, 5k here, and we'll actually split this one up as well, and simply cover every area, more or less. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Uh, let's see here if I can actually make a piece for Kamasi, they would actually accept that. Uh, Let's see here what else we can do. Join League and Force Specialization. We'll simply go with Join League. I think this is our newest member of the League. 
or, or only member of the leak, that is. <laughs> so that's quite nice. Now we can probably go ahead and uh, upgrade our cavalry, even though I don't use that many of them. There we go, we formed. Uh, how many cavalry units do I have? 16, yeah. It's the new armies that are getting them, more or less. Uh, so that's not that's not a surprise. Uh, these guys actually have decided to run through... Yeah, I can actually colonize down here as well. I can actually colonize this one. Hmm. Well, I have a colonialism, Casas Belly, on uh, these guys now too. So that's quite nice. 10 years and uh, we'll start... Uh, Start raking havoc in Europe, more or less. Hopefully, at least. But uh, we should be alright for now, and hopefully, things will work out. Land tax 17 has just been reached, which is uh, another surprise. We also got some uh, extra colonies right afterwards. Uh, should probably p pounce them out a while ago when I think about it. We'll go ahead and complete uh, the Americas, I think. We can just uh, war for all other colonies. Uh, it's Pretty, pretty difficult to actually uh, get someone else to colonize uh, Central Americas for us, or South America in this case. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, deal with this ourselves. Uh, as you can see here, actually Savoy has started to take down Morocco, Na Naples here. The map is just uh, one hell of a mess, really. Uh, I don't know how the Holy Roman Empire is actually standing. Bohemia is emperor, not surprising, or perhaps it is a little bit surprising because I believe Austria to be uh, a competitor. But as you can see, Bohemia is basically wrecking havoc with the hordes, so uh, fighting them will be a long, drawn out affair, I think. But uh, thanks to Bohemia, Prussia has probably been given uh, free grounds to beat on these little fellas, which has uh, allowed them to grow a little bit. But uh, France has also been taken down by Burgundy, it seems, and well, the Hanses have done pretty well for themselves. Uh, Venice, <laughs> excommunicated, not good for them. But uh, as you can see, once we actually go to war with England, we'll, uh, we'll actually get uh, quite the big boost in lands, everything basically. So having our 60k army down there then to consolidate lands and uh, make use of them will be uh, pretty important. So we'll go ahead. How much have I created? 30, 64. I need to create two more 16 armies. There we go. One. I'll wait the, the, with the other one until I actually have the manpower to create it. Uh, where's my transports? Here you guys are. I think I'll probably go ahead and just send these guys to Europe straight away. I don't see any point to having them uh, stand here in wrath, so to speak. I'll, I want Mali's capital. Uh, unless someone else take a diplomat died. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll take a while until we can actually get a new one. Are there any decent people to hire here? Nope. We'll have him hired in the meantime, but uh, I'll probably use my magistrates now to get up cultural, uh, get up the culture aspect, and hopefully that will uh, that will allow us to. Uh, to not lose that many men. Full annexation, Songhai, which means our war ended. I don't have a uh, CB on them, which is kind of a pity. But it should be alright. Let's see here. Uh, we'll honor the beliefs of our ancestors. Too bad we didn't need, need any stability. Colony Danish, Parana. Yep, it's in south. Trade tax 16 reached. Gives us some more money. Uh, still quite a lot of settlers here, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, as I said, I'll basically just allow my colonies to grow on uh, on their own and uh, hopefully we'll be able to take down the Americas sooner or later. Colonies are sustaining. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be building forts even though I need to get my diplomat back. So yeah, another problem. And as you can see, once I actually get to war with the England, I can probably take seize a lot. I'll probably bounce, bounce down a couple of colonies down here. I don't know why I can reach it to... Yeah, it's actually shorter. So, because of my core in America, they can colonize over here, which is quite nice. Even though I could probably use a diplomat and have 10 years uh, to change it again, I believe it's 8 years with the Merchant Republic. Uh, or perhaps I'm mistaken, let's see here. 4 years, I'm mistaken, so sorry. We'll actually try to change him out for a diplomat. And yeah, we got a diplomat, but we'll have to change him out soon enough. Uh, 
it simply sucks too much of administration, so this could backfire, but I have two elections, so uh, I sh it should be alright, but uh, he boosts us quite a lot on uh, many things, so administration will uh, will suck for a while now, which is kind of bad, but still should be alright. We'll be able to lower our infamy a bit. This, this guy will actually be... Uh, if he had 8 there, he would be perfect, because the two things that really matter in uh, in my game right now is administration and diploma diplomacy for my leaders, so yeah. Not the best, but not the worst, I guess you could say. Um, another point why I need uh, administration on my leader, because this happens, and well, that is sucky. Colony damage, Naki. Do I actually have a... Yeah, this is actually a colony. Why? Uh, let's see here. Colony map mode. Where are you? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see where I stick all the colony map mode. Good. It's the last thing I checked. Yeah, I actually have to make, turn this into a city before we can walk. Uh, nothing else here really that needs to be turned into a city, uh, I think. Uh, probably this one. Nope. Should be alright. Uh, so as far as, as long as I'm able to turn that into a proper colony before the war with England, we should be alright. And unfortunately, I think I have to end it here. I have uh, unfortunately a lot of stuff to do today, so if this is a little bit short, I am really sorry, and I do apologize, but uh, hopefully it isn't, and hopefully you've enjoyed this little preparing and pretty slow episode. Uh, again, sorry for that, but uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, a like. Anything really I dislike if you didn't like it. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.